Hello and welcome to All Things Nitty's Crochet Channel. This week I'm bringing you a little project. Uh, it's this little soap saver uh, shiver scrubby. Um, it's very quick and there is a free downloadable pattern in the description box below. You will need some iron weight yarn, the correct size hook, a stitch marker, a, a sewing needle and some scissors. Uh, and the button is obviously optional. You could use any button. I just love these uh, nice big wooden ones. Okay, so the little soap saver itself has a hidden loop to keep your soap inside. And it's just the perfect size that you could slide it on your finger um, here to give you a little bit of grip. It's also got a little chain for hanging. Um, it's very easy once you get into it. The stitch involved is herringbone half double crochet and you need to know how to work in a round but I will um, go through everything with you. Okay so your foundation chain is 10 plus 1 so 10 stitches plus 1 turning chain. Okay so once you have your um, 10 chains plus 1 we will begin. Okay, so I have 11 stitches, so that's my 10 plus my turning chain. Into this first stitch, we're going to work an increase of two herringbone half double crochets into the first stitch, which is your second chain from your hook. Yarn over, go into the stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops. We're going to pull this loop under the second loop without yarning over, so you do like a mid-row slip stitch. Then, when you have two stitches, yarn over and pull through two. Now, before we move on, we're going to pop a stitch marker into that stitch and that lets us know where our first stitch is. So we've worked one, we're going to work one more into the same stitch. So yarn over, pull through. Once you have three loops, you're going to pull the first loop through the second, then yarn over, pull through two. So we've worked our increase. We're now going to work in the next eight stitches, one herringbone half double crochet. So into the next stitch, work a herringbone half double crochet in the next eight stitches. So all across this row, we will work herringbone half double crochet, leaving the last stitch on this side unworked. Okay, we've come to the last stitch and what we're going to do is we're going to increase for this side and increase for the next side. So in total, in the end, we will be working four herringbone half double crochets. So we'll do our increase for the first side. So pull through, pull through two, yarn over, go into the same stitch, pull through without yarning over, and then pull through two. So we've worked our increase for side one. We're now going to turn our work so that the other side of the chain is facing the top, okay? And then into that same stitch where we worked the first two, we're going to work our next two. Just make sure you tuck this little tail into the back of your work. So yarn over into the same stitch, pull under the second loop and then yarn over, pull through two. Work your second for that increase. Okay, so we've done four in the end. We now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stitches for the opposite side and then we'll work an increase into this last stitch. So work eight, eight uh, herringbone half doubles and I will just speed this little bit up. Okay, so 
we've got one more to work for our eight. Now we've come to the very last stitch here. We're now going to work an increase into this stitch. So we started with an increase with just two and then in this side we worked four. So this is just matching your your other uh, side of your work. So one and then two. So that's round one finished. When you're working in the round, it's obviously called rounds rather than rows. And as you can see, we've worked around both sides of this chain. So then you can turn your work so that your little pin is back at the top. And we will start round, um, we'll start round two together. Okay, if you have the pattern or if you have a scrap bit of paper, rows two, three, four and five, we're just working a one herringbone half double crochet in every single stitch. So there's no increases in row rounds two, three, four and five. So work your first herringbone and then replace your pin and continue to work around your pattern for round two. Once you come back to this pin, stop and we'll just do the first stitch of row round three together. So work one in every single stitch and then you can mark off round two. Okay, so I'm just about to work the last half a herringbone half double crochet into the last stitch and then I'll remove the pin and work my first for round three and then I will replace my pin back into that stitch so continue to work in the round completing rounds three four and five working just one stitch in each all the way around mark off as you go and I will get you uh, back here when we're about to start round six. So continue working in the round, one in each stitch, and I'll get you back at round six. Okay, so after completing round five, you should have something that looks like this, where you can start to see we have this little pouch shape. So we're going to start working so that your pattern, we're going to work the decreases and that gives it this nice shape. To do that, your first stitch is going to be a decrease. So remove your pin and it's going to be a herringbone half double crochet invisible decrease. So to do that, yarn over your hook first and then we're going to work a decrease. So we're going to make these two stitches into one. When working an invisible decrease, you just use the front loop only of the next two stitches. So yarn over, go under the front loop of the next stitch, don't yarn over, you're going to go straight across into the next stitch, then yarn over, pull through, you have three loops. Without yarning over, you're going to bring your first through the second and work a normal herringbone half double crochet. Once you have two loops, yarn over, pull through two, and that's the decrease. I'm going to take that straight back out and show you it one more time. So this is where your pin was. You're going to yarn over first. Then, front loop only. Don't yarn over. Reach across and go through the next loop. You have four loops. Yarn over, pull through the first two. You have three loops. Work a normal herringbone. So pull your first loop through the second loop without yarning over. You have two loops. Yarn over, pull through two. And that's our invisible decrease. Pop your pin back in. We're now going to work 10 stitches. So you can see one, two was our decrease. So we're going into the next available stitch and we're going to work 10 herringbone half double crochets around. So that's two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So that brings us to the opposite side of our work. Where we so we've done our decrease here. You want your decrease to be in line. So we're going to do another decrease over the next two stitches. So yarn over, pick up the front loop only, 
go straight across to the next front loop. Yarn over, pull through two, you have three loops. Pull your first loop under your second, you have two loops, and complete the decrease. So we've decreased over these two, and to finish this round you'll have ten stitches left, and that will bring you to the stitch before your pin, and that's where I'll get you. So just work one half double crochet herringbone, or sorry, one herringbone half double crochet, and the next 10 stitches and I'll get you at the end of round 6. Okay, so round 7, you're going to work all the way around, you've worked 21 herringbone half double crochets and when you get back to the last stitch before your, your pin, stop and I'll show you how to finish this row. So just one in each stitch, leaving your last stitch unworked. And I'll get you there. So I'll get you at the end of round seven. One in each, leave the last one unworked. Okay, so to finish round seven, we'll stop before our, the last stitch before our pin. We're going to decrease over these two stitches. So remove your pin. And this is how we end the next uh, round, sorry, this is how we end round seven. So we're going to work an invisible decrease. So go under both the loops, yarn over, pull through two, then complete your herringbone as normal. Okay, pop your pin into the top of the decrease you've just made. And we're going to begin round eight. And that is, t we start here and we're going to work ten herringbone half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10. Now we're going to work another decrease over the next two stitches and I'll show you this one more time. So yarn over, pull up the front loop, don't yarn over, go straight into the next loop, four loops, yarn over, pull through the first two, you have three loops. Without yarning over you're going to pull the first loop through the second and when you have two loops yarn over, pull through two. So we've worked our decrease over these two. We're going to finish this round by working one, one uh, herringbone half double crochet until the end of this round. So just complete that round and we will begin uh, round nine together. Okay, so round nine is just a full round of herringbone half double crochet, one in each stitch. So work your way around round nine, one in each stitch, and then we'll begin round ten, which is when we make our little hidden loop, okay? So one more round of just one in each stitch, and I'll get you back there. Okay, so as you can see, it does build up really quite quickly. We're now on round ten. We're going to start with five herringbone half double crochet. So work around, working five herringbone half double crochet, one in each stitch. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. We're going to, oh, sorry, we're going to chain two and skip two. So chain one, chain two, Skip two, skip one, skip two. We're going to work eight herringbone half double crochet starting after the skipped two. So one, so skip two, work eight more. That's two, three, four. 
five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so it's time to make the, the little loop that gets hidden. To do that, in the next stitch here, we're going to single crochet, chain 10, single crochet, all in the same stitch. So single crochet, so just pull through and pull through two, chain 10, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then single crochet back into the same stitch. So single crochet here, so it's a single crochet, chain 10, single crochet, all in the one stitch. And now we're going to finish with four herringbone half double crochet. One, two, three, and four. Okay. So we're going to move on to round 11 and we will begin Sorry, we will start working in single crochet only. Okay, so we'll start round 11 in one second. Okay, so we're going to start round 11. And we're going to start with five single crochet. So, one, just remember to pop your pin into that first stitch to keep you right. So start with five single crochet. Two... Three, four, five. Now under this bar, into this big gap, we're going to work three normal half double crochets. So yarn over, go under the bar, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops. One, two, and three. Okay, so not in the stitch here, not in this little one, into the next stitch, you're going to work seven single crochet. Sorry, we're going to start here and work seven single crochet. Two, three, four, five, six. And seven. Now, if you have the pattern in front of you, it tells you to pull this loop through the chain two gap. Okay, so first bring that loop through to the front of your work, through the chain two space, and hold it here. Turn your work back to where you were working, and now we're going to do a decrease over the back of this loop. So we're going to single crochet decrease. So go through that first loop, reach across the loop so it's hidden, pull up another loop. Once you have three loops, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And then you have three, one, two, three stitches left and the loop is now hidden in the inside of your work. So I am going to take that straight back out and just show you that one more time because it's quite tricky. So pop the, the little loop through to the front of your work. If it helps, count back three. One, two, three. We know we need those three stitches. So when you bring your work together, you can see that we're going to decrease over this. Yarn over, pull through. Jump to the next stitch. Insert, pull up. You have three loops. Yarn over, pull through all three. And then finish the round by working three single crochet. And we will begin round 12 together. Okay, we're going to start by working round 12 with six single crochet. Just always remember to pop your pin in. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, working into the middle of our three half double crochets here, you're going to work a single crochet increase. So work two single crochet into that same chain. And now finish your round by working one single crochet in each stitch until you reach your marker. And we will begin our last round 
together. So just finish that round all single crochet. Okay, so let's do our last round together. In the first stitch, where our pin is, we're going to remove the pin. We're going to start working in slip stitches. So into this first loop, we're going to do a slip stitch. So once you have two loops, just pull the first through the second. You're going to chain 20. One, two, three, and I'll fast forward. Okay, so once you've done your chain of 20, you're going to work another slip stitch into the same, into that, the base. So slip stitch in there, and that gives you your little loop for hanging your soap saver up. Now, working into the back loop only of the rest of this round will be finished. So work one slip stitch in the back loop only, all the way around till you come to the other side where your hanging loop is. So continue one slip stitch in the back loop only of each stitch and I'll get you at the other side. Okay, so I've slip stitched into the, the, the last stitch of this round. However, pull, if you pull this hanging loop towards yourself, see in this stitch here where we did the slip stitch chain and the slip stitch, work one more slip stitch into that stitch and the next stitch, one more slip stitch. And that just kind of secures the loop and closes that big gap. So then we're now finished our project. So you would cut your yarn, leaving yourself a good tail. You're going to pull your yarn out, thread onto a darning needle, and we're going to secure this loop. Okay, so into the inside of your work with this tail, bring it through. Make sure your knot for this is in the inside. And I like to, this does leave a large gap. So I like to just go in and work my closing knot over that. Leave a nice, neat inside. One more just to finish and then you can snip your chain off now to secure your button as you can see this little loop is in the inside bring your securing loop through to the front and put it up the way now before you sew your button get your stitch marker and I like to make sure that it is completely in the middle and that is where you sew your button so always pin it first, just to, so you know where you're going, and then you can pop your button in, and then that's it. Pop your soap in there, or all your little ends, secure it nice, pull the button over that, and it's done. And you've got a lovely look for hanging. This was made on a 4.5mm, using the same weight, but I showed you it today on a 5mm, and you can see the difference um, in size so it is up to yourself I prefer using the smaller hook and that is what I do recommend in the pattern that you use a hook that's not 0.5 millimeters smaller than recommended and that was your little soap saver I hope you enjoyed this lesson if you did please leave me a like comment share and subscribe subscribing is completely free um, and like I say the links for all all the materials that you need is in the description box below along with the pattern and I hope to see you next Sunday. Bye now.